Miss Penny. Hi. Welcome to the children's garden. It looks amazing. Tell me about it. Well, this is a garden built for children by children, and it's a really beautiful place for children to play outside, learn about our ecosystem, and grow food. Oh, it sounds amazing. I can't wait to play with you. What's your favorite part? The strangler fig tree over there. Do you climb it? Yes. Oh, it sounds fun. What's your favorite part? The berries and the tree right here that I'm standing under. Oh, this tree we're standing under, and it has berries? Yeah, I'm just going to look for its berries. Okay, and what's your favorite part? Water play. Oh, I love water play. We get to do that today. And your favorite part? Tree. Trees, everybody loves trees. And what's your favorite part? Mud kitchen. Oh, the mud kitchen. I can't wait to explore this whole garden. Follow what? us, Miss Pat. Oh, I will. Let's go. Wow, is this cool. What do you call this part of the garden? Our veggie maze. Your veggie maze, so you grow vegetables here. And fruit right here, tomatoes. Tomatoes, and what other kinds of vegetables? Lavender. <gasps> Lavender. Tomatoes. Basil. This. Oh, mm, smell. Wow, that smells amazing. And Great. you grew it. Do you help grow the garden? Yeah. What do you yeah. do here? I just we sprinkle plant. seeds. You sprinkle and seeds? And you water plants. And then you water them, and then you take care of them and watch them grow? Yes. yes. The children plant all the vegetables and herbs here, and then we harvest them to use them in our plant-based meals that we prepare here. Harvest is a good word. What does that mean? Well, it means that when the fruit or vegetable or herb is ready, you pluck it from the plant and you use it to nurture your body. That's terrific. And how do you know when a plant is ready? Well, for a tomato, for instance, it's when it's nice and bright and red and plump. Sometimes they're yellow. Uh, and for other things, like greens, it's when they're a nice medium or large size. That's wonderful. And we do cooking. And then you do cooking. How great is that? It's amazing. I think there's a juicy tomato right there. Me too. Oh my goodness. Are you Let gonna eat see. it? Mm. It's good? Very. Yay! Good job. This is an sweet amazing tomatoes. garden. Oh, it's Now a sweet May. tomato. Terrific. Let's find one for you too. We call it a pollinator garden because all of these pollinator plants attract butterflies, bees, dragonflies, hummingbirds. Pollinators are really important. They help drink nectar from each plant and carry it to one another so that plants can grow and fruit. Very important. Without them, we wouldn't have plants and fruit. Exactly. And I see this tree has berries on it. It does. It, this is our peanut butter fruit tree. Peanut butter fruit. Want to give it a try? You want to sure. this? Yeah, I feel it. It's fragile. Tastes like peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> Surprising. What is this animal called? The caterpillar. caterpillar. And we have all sizes and shapes of these caterpillars. Yeah. Black, white, and those colors. And can you count? How many? Yeah, let's One. count. One, two, three, four, five caterpillars on one leaf. That's pretty cool. They live on milkweed. They live on milkweed. And we're holding milkweed. What are they going to turn into after they're caterpillars? A monarch butterfly. A monarch butterfly. I think it's time for some nature play. Let's play with nature. One of the really awesome parts of the children's garden is that the children make their own decisions. They play how they want to play with what they want to play with. So they really roam free, even though it's a safe space, and feel like they're out in the wild. What I love about this place is that trees to climb and fairy gardens, and it's just, use your imagination, it could be anything you want it to be. 
Definitely, there's a lot of space for your creativity, learning, tasting, and learning how to be stewards of the earth, how to take good care of our earth. Yes. You really see children from all over our community, different ages, different backgrounds, and everybody comes here to have fun in nature. A mud kitchen is a kitchen where you get to use your imagination to make um, food out of mud. Oh, so you use your imagination, and yeah. you get to get nice and messy and playful, right? Yeah. And what do you? What ingredients are you putting in? Mud. Mud, and a little bit of soap, and a little bit of water, and it turns into sugar and spice and everything nice. Yep. The waterfly is a peaceful waterfall. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I feel the peacefulness from it. It's also a great place to keep cool. Fairy garden, it's so beautiful in here. Look at all the treasures. Let's plant we... some flowers today. They're going in a circle, right? Sweet, they need water. Hey, Shiny, would you like to help us decorate the fairy garden? That is a beautiful flower. I think it'll be lovely in here. I'm so glad you were able to bring us flowers. We need as many flowers as possible to fill this beautiful fairy garden with color. Miss Christina is going to show us other great ways to use flowers. Let's go. So, Miss Penny, I brewed some butterfly pea vine tea for you to enjoy with the children. Oh, like the flower that we saw in the butterfly garden? Just like that flower. So what you do is you dry those flowers and you can make a really nutritious tea we out of them. We already dry those flowers. <laughs> and that's why they're there. Look. Yeah, do you want to have a sip of your tea? Yeah. Give it a little taste. Tell me what you think. Mm. It's really good for your body. You can add little honey to it or maybe some mint and lemon. We have a little mint from the garden. You can give it a little, little swish and give it a taste. Tell me what you think. It smells delicious. It smells minty. Wonderful. So add some lemon, but observe what happens when you add the lemon. It turns purple. Oh, wow. It changes the color. Hey, how'd you do that? It's magic. Why is that changing? <laughs> Add a little more lemon. Ah! See what happens. Miss Penny's turned purple it's too. Penny's turned purple. Hey, went from blue awesome. to purple and even pink if you add more lemon. Everything we do at the garden is all natural. Okay, so okay. whether we're creating food, beverage, or even sensory items like Play-Doh, we always use natural coloring and natural mm -hmm. items. Oh, can we see that? Yeah. Do you want to play with Play-Doh? Yes. Yes, thank you. Let's do it. It's just flour, salt, and then I added a little water. And for the coloring, I use that same butterfly pea vine flour in a powder form, and I use turmeric. The herb, oh. the ground, the ground herb. So this is the same that we drank. Yeah, same oh, as the, the tea. We saw the flower in the butterfly garden, yeah. and then we drank the tea, and now we're going to make. And now. look at the color that it makes. It's so beautiful. Oh, it is. It's like a deep purple hue. Oh wow! How does it feel? It has been a wonderful day at the Children's Garden. I really appreciate you playing with me and showing me all the beautiful things that you have here and how much children learn playing with nature. You're welcome to come back anytime, Miss Penny, to the Children's Garden. We loved having you here. It was wonderful to be here. Thank you so much. I will be back. Bye! Bye. <laughs>